I found this component. I was at a facility doing another job and I found a whole pile of these in a corner. And I asked him, what are these? He said, they're broke. I said, why are they broke? He said, because of the, uh, the coating has come off and water has gotten underneath it and uh, it's disbonded. I said, well, how about if we can remanufacture them? He said, well, you can. However, there's a couple of uh, constraints. First, you can't test the inner coating in the spline, and secondly, you can't take off the U-joint uh, on the back end. So I said, okay, that shouldn't be a problem. So we came up with a process where we would uh, machine off the coating on the top, and then we would flame spray on plastic, a thermal plastic on the surface, to, uh, to replace the coating and make it uh, as good as new. But one of the things we found out when we did the failure analysis, we understood why the coating was coming off or uh, disbonding and getting water underneath it. It was because of the split between the coating and the, uh, the step. So when we designed the remanufacturing process, what we did was we brought the coating over the step and, and so it's, uh, it solved the problem. So actually, the part is uh, actually better than the new one. We chose a thermoplastic for this application because, it, because of its uh, physical and mechanical properties. First of all, you, you, it's not required to have a primer put down first, like the original one where they put a primer down, then you put a coating down on it. Also, the thermoplastic melts when you spray it on, and when it uh, deposits on the material, it flows together to form the coating, and then when the coating cools down, the coating cures, so you don't have a, a secondary curing step afterwards. This is the, uh, the spray apparatus. Basically, it consists of a, a hopper where you feed the powder into the spray gun back here, and then the spray gun deposits on the uh, surface. As I mentioned previously, I found these uh, components on a pile on the side in the factory and they had failed because of the uh, coating disbonding from the, uh, the uh, step here. The disbonded coated enabled water to get underneath it and uh, cause corrosion. And I asked them if we could remanufacture them. And they said yes we could, however we could not destroy the coating in the center or the U-joint on the back end. So we had to use a remanufactured process that was different than the original process. The original process, they dipped the material in a bath, pulled out the coating, and then machined it to shape. We were going to just coat one side of it, and we had to keep the temperature below 200 degrees F. This is the uh, remanufactured component. You can see it's different from the original one, is that we brought the coating up over the step. This prevented the disbonding of the coating from the step and prevented water from getting underneath it, actually, so it made the part better than new. 3D printing, or additive manufacturing, is getting a lot of publicity lately. And we're taking this technology and also applying it to remanufacturing. What we have here is we have a hybrid uh, 3D printing machine, or a high additive manufacturing machine, in which we, we put a laser together with a machine tool. So what you have here is you have a laser with a powder feed that puts powder down on the surface and then the laser melts it on the surface of the part. So what you get is you get a part that looks like this with a, with a hard surface added to the surface. And one of the advantages of this type of machine is that you have a powder feeder here. We have two powder feeders so we can change the surface of the material or we can gradiate the surface of the material. So if we're getting a lot of wear on the surface, we can change the surface composition and improve the physical properties of the surface to enable the part to, to last longer. Uh, it is controlled by a CNC controller right here. So we, have, we use machine pass, just like regular machining, we use machine pass. So in general, the, the operation would be, you bring the laser down on the part, add your surface to the piece, then you take the laser, Put it up, break down your machine tool, and then machine it to the final dimension. So you're able to do both additive and subtractive manufacturing on this machine.